This is how to reset TP-Link RE505X and I'll show you two methods, simple and most advanced. The simple method is to grab a pin, face the right side of the extender and push the reset button. It's is here in the small hole right here but hold on uh, before you reset you must hear this information if you reset the extender you will lose all your settings all your connections passwords uh, firmware updates and so on so if you remember the device password uh, before you reset i would recommend you to make the backup file uh, let me show you how to do this so uh, first of all you need to go to your uh, web browser on your laptop this cannot be done from the application and uh, go to your web browser and make sure you are connected to the extenders network so you need ext network or maybe your extender uh, has another name given by yourself but anyway you need to make sure that you are connected to the extender And then go to your browser and in the search bar type the following IP address 192.168.0.254 Write it down somewhere uh, Then press enter Well, it doesn't work in some reason. So you can try another method. You can type in tplinkrepeater.net and press enter. It works. Perfect. So uh, now you need to enter your device password and log in. I don't want to save it for now. And here uh, in this menu, here click on later. In this menu, you need system tools and backup and restore tab so all you need to do is click on backup and the system downloads the config file later after you reset the extender you can upload this file in the restore section just browse upload the file and click on restore and you will keep all your settings including cloud connections and so on uh, also you can uh, to keep cloud connection you can do uh, soft reset it will reset everything but your uh, passwords and cloud connection uh, when you are ready with your backup you can confidently make a hard reset of your device and it, it will roll back the firmware updates because sometimes after firmware updates uh, <laughs> it doesn't work now some changes in LED lights it's normal it means everything is underway, the resetting is in process. And now that's it. Now you can set up device from scratch or uh, restore the settings using your configuration file. That's it, guys. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and have a nice day. Bye.